Hearing that interview there, let's hear it for the lady scientists That's out right. there. That's right. I love that. You we know, women in right STEM, you know, all about that. So you go, girls. That's right. And you go, Ashley. We're yeah. happy to have you back well, here thanks. today. Good Even to be back. though we've got a little of a yeah, I know. gray day. I don't like it brought the rain today. Right. But, you know, grab the umbrella. At least I'm giving you a fair warning. So as you step outside this morning, you'll see some clouds in Tuscaloosa. But all in all, not a bad start to the morning in West Alabama. 52 is our current temperature there in T-Town. A little cooler in Anniston at 45. Flip those numbers. You have 54. In Birmingham, some light rain from Clanton to Jackson's Gap right now, and that's what we're going to mainly see south of I-20. Just a few sprinkles, um, some heavier drizzle. Light rain may require the use of those windshield wipers. As we move north, we are tracking a bit more wet weather from Nauvoo over towards Double Springs, moving at a pretty fast rate of speed, tracking east into Jones Chapel and then on into Coleman. But the heaviest rainfall up towards the Tennessee Valley right now. So if you have travel plans that take you north of 65, you're going to be in for a little bit more morning rain. But no. Notice this line of wet weather stretching back into parts of Arkansas and East Oklahoma. That's associated with another frontal boundary. They'll be racing in later on tonight. So we'll have a moment of rain this morning. We'll have a little lull in the action later this afternoon. And then we'll have another round of possible storms later on tonight. That's where the severe risk comes in. Bullseye for that severe weather threat's going to remain in North Louisiana, Southern Arkansas, and parts of Central Mississippi. East or West Alabama, I should say, is going to be in the slight risk for some stronger storms. The Tornado threats low, still there. I hate to just say, hey, it's low, so don't worry about it. We always need to stay apprised any quickly changing weather patterns, but it looks like the ingredients are most aligned in that western edge of our viewing area. It includes a very small portion of our viewers. Most of that, though, I think will stay in southwest Alabama throughout the day. Notice, though, after some morning showers pass, the clouds remain. Temperatures will climb to around 70 degrees by your noon hour. Landing in the mid 70s later on this afternoon. But let me show you what happens by around 1, 2 o'clock this afternoon. Heavier rainfall stretching from Hamilton, Coleman into North Alabama. By 5 p.m., relatively quiet. So east of 65, after that morning rain moves out, you're actually going to have a pretty quiet day. And that really goes for most of our viewing area. But then by 8, 9 o'clock tonight, that's when we're going to have this front move through, really along the leading edge, gusty winds. I think that's going to be the main threat that we'll face tonight. That will continue through. Central Alabama at around midnight, south of Birmingham to Clanton, and then keeping east of 65 through 3 to 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Notice most of the rain, though, it gets out of here by daybreak, 8 a.m. We could be looking at a drying radar, maybe just a passing rogue shower, but that's good news. I know there's lots of folks that have activities going on tomorrow from spring festivals to fun runs. This 50 percent chance of rain tomorrow confined to the morning hours. Check out the big temperature changes, though, mid 70s today dropping to the mid-50s tomorrow, but then we'll finally see some sunshine as we round out the weekend.